He'll do it. He'll do it. If you believe it, come on, just receive what God is doing. Receive it. And many times we try to work for things that God just wants you to receive. Just receive what he's doing. Receive what he's saying. His mercy is a gift. You can't do anything to obtain the mercy of God. It's a gift. His presence really is a gift to us. His love is it's a gift. If you're saved today, it's a gift. It's a free gift. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe on him should not perish but have everlasting life. That was a gift. Jesus is a gift to us. Salvation is a gift. His mercy is a gift. His love is a free gift. His, his spirit is a gift. So as we've been hearing this word, God is trying to reposition our thinking. Your mind. He's trying to get us from one place to another. And so your mind needs to be renewed so he can direct, redirect you. He's repositioning you. So he wants you to think differently. Yeah. Amen. So he wants you to repent. Yeah. Repentance is a changing of position. It's leaving the pit and going up to the penthouse. So repent of bad thinking. Repent of your bad words, your bad intentions. Just repent of it. It will change the direction of your life. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. Well, I can't do that. Yes, you can. <laughs> the Bible says that we have the mind of Christ. Oh, my God. Amen. And you know something? That's a gift. Oh, God. And I'm talking today about accessing the gift. Because if you don't know that it's nothing you really have to work for, just believe for. You don't have to work for it, you just got to believe for it. I'm going to say one more. You don't have to work for what God is doing even now. You just got to receive it. A gift is no good if you don't receive it. Oh, God. And so God wants you to receive some stuff today. And I believe he wants you to know this is a gift. I'm giving it to you. And you know something? There's no strings attached to what God wants to do in your life today. So you're back in the... Oh, God. Y'all seen Judge Judy and whoever? The relationship was going good. But then she did something that he didn't like. And now he's standing in front of Judy saying, Listen, I want my stuff back. Because there's a change in the relationship. And because there may be a change in your relationship with God does not mean he wants his stuff back. The Bible says that the gifts and the calling of God are without repentance. In other words, I don't take it back. Oh God. There's no strings attached to what I've done in your life and what I'm continuing to do. I still love you. You still got the same gift. You still got the same calling. You just need to reposition yourself. Listen, we ain't together no more, so I want my ring back. <laughs> Judge Yuki said, no, you can't have your ring back because it was a gift. And God don't want his ring back, y'all. 
He still wants to use you. He still wants to speak to you. There's still great stuff available to you. And it's all a gift. Listen, God so loved the world that he gave a gift. The gift was Jesus Christ. Now, I wanted to bring a, a box, but inside that box, which would be a gift box, if you open up the box, there's gifts in... Oh, God. When Jesus died, he wasn't only a gift, but he became the gift. Oh, God. He started to... Listen, he died for our sins. That was a gift. He was healed. He was bruised for our transgressions. He was wounded for our iniquities, and by his stripes we're healed. Amen. That's a gift. Yeah. Our salvation that we have today is a gift. Yeah. Then he gave us the Holy Spirit. Yeah. That was a gift. Amen. The gifts start to give gifts. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and y'all, what I want you to understand is that there's a a multitude of unlimited things available to you that you don't have to do anything. What you have to do is just access them. Put the scripture to 1 Corinthians. Listen, change. I believe God wants us to change the way we're thinking because he wants us to have more than what we've had. If you don't know there is more, you won't believe for more. If you don't think you can have more, you won't, oh God, you won't ask for more. Come on. Let's start out in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 12, in the message, in the message translation. Do we have to go back to 11? Let's go back to 11. Verse 11. Whoever knows what you're thinking and planning except you yourself. The same with God except that he not only knows what he's thinking. I really should have went back to 10, but what that's saying is that <laughs> who knows the mind of a man except the spirit that's in that man? Yeah. Yeah. Oh God. Listen, only you know what you're thinking. Oh God. I can't explain. It's, and that, that gets me upset sometimes because I expect Aretha to know what I'm thinking. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. My intentions, my thoughts, and she don't know necessarily all the time what I'm thinking, but the spirit inside me knows what I'm thinking. Yes, Lord. And the spirit of God knows what God is thinking. Oh my God. Yes. But he lets us in on it. God offers a full report of the gifts of life and salvation that he has given. So what he does, he gives us the spirit of God, right? Let me read it from the King James. Because what the spirit of God does, it lets you know that the free gifts that God has available to us. You got So for what man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of man which is in him? Even so the things of God know no man knoweth no man but the Spirit of God. But we have now, but now we have received not the Spirit of the world. How many know that the Spirit of the world can't do for you what the Spirit of God can do for you? Amen. But the Spirit which is of God. Now we have received not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit which is of God. How many people have received the Spirit which is of God? Now back 20 some odd years ago, I didn't have that spirit. So I didn't know what God was doing. But he says that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. That we might know that there's gifts that God has available to us, y'all. So that God gives us the spirit. And the spirit, prior to the scripture, it says that the spirit searches the deep things of God. Oh my God. So the Spirit will search God's divine treasures to find out the free gifts that we have. Oh God. And what I'm telling you today, that there's some stuff that's available to you that the Spirit of God wants to reveal to you. Yes! Yes, yes! Hallelujah. 
But like anything else, if you don't know, number one, that it's available to it to you, then you won't ask for it. How many people have ever known that there was a sale or something, but you didn't you weren't able to take advantage of it because you didn't know about it? So the Holy Spirit, or God, through His Spirit, wants you to know that there's free gifts available to you. The only thing you have to do is learn how to access the gifts. Yes, thank you, God. Hallelujah. Let's go to one more scripture. Stay with me. I'm, I'm, we're going someplace. Go to um, go to First Timothy. Actually, Second Timothy. So God. The scripture said in the message that God offers a full report of the gifts. Do you know something? That a gift is something that's given to you freely? Yes. It's a present. Mm -hmm. It's something that's given to you. Yeah. Now the gift is no good, if, like I said before, if you don't receive it. How many people have refused the gift from somebody? Mm -hmm. So why would you refuse what God is doing for you today? See? Just let me talk. See, inside God's, what you need to recognize is that God's gifting, inside the gifts that God has given you, that's what you need to get, the, get out of the place that you're in today. Inside the gift is the power to get you to where God wants you to be. The Bible said that God is God who gives us the power to give wealth. That's a gift. So my ability to give wealth, if I'm not wealthy, it's not because I don't have, if you have the spirit of God and you're not wealthy, it's not because God necessarily doesn't want you to be wealthy. It's because you have an access to free gift inside of you that gives you the power to get well. It could be that you are sick today because you have an access to healing power. My God. Because if God has already healed you, oh my God, and the healer lives inside of you, then I'm still sick because I have an access to free gift that enables me to be healed. If I'm still depressed, and I can't seem to break free of depression. It's not because I don't have already inside of me that gift that allows me to be free from depression. It's nothing I had to work for. It's just something I had to go get. Oh it's there already. And I'm telling you today, what you have is there in you already. And your ability to get free or out of your situation isn't because God wants you to stay there. It's because you have an access something inside of you that you don't have to work for. You just have to seek for. Oh my God. And so we refuse sometimes to put in the time necessary. The Bible says that we have this treasure in earth and vessel. That the excellency of God may be of God and not of us. We just fail to go after the treasure that's already in us. See, if you were really wanting to be free, you would you would go into the chest before I know my feelings in here. I just gotta keep digging through the things that are trying to prevent me from getting to my victory. I know I'm broke and I know I'm not supposed to be broke, so there's got to be something in here. All I have to do is keep seeking until I find it. Keep knocking until it opens up. And it's not anything that I have to pay for. It's a free course, y'all. It's a gift. And we try, we, the enemy wants you to think you ain't good enough to get the gift. You ain't smart enough to use, oh my, the devil's a liar. God has given us a multitude of free gifts, y'all. And he's saying, 
is in the treasure chest. Seek the treasure. It's free. All you have to do is go get it. Listen, your age doesn't prevent you from getting the gift. There's no age requirement. There's no age restriction. You don't have to be white. You don't have to be black. You don't have to. Your culture doesn't prevent you. Your education don't prevent you. The only thing that prevents you is your desire. Y'all don't desire. I have a desire. I said it, but I haven't seeked it out. And evidence of true desire is you go get it. Listen, paying the price doesn't mean coming out of your pocket. It means coming out of your person. And sometimes, y'all, you gotta come out of you to get what God wants you to be. I know I ain't supposed to be shouting in church, but y'all, I gotta get free. I know it don't look good, but I'm trying to get some money. So I'm coming in here and I'm digging and I'm searching and I'm seeking. And I'm doing what I gotta do to get what I need. And I don't care what you think. Oh. Take a free ride. Oh, Jesus! Oh, <laughs> oh, my God. 
Come on, come on and take a free ride, y'all. If you can believe, you can ride first class. Oh, geez. It's, you don't have to drive. Oh, you don't have to fly coach unless you want to. <laughs> it's free. It's free. The, now, watch this. God gives you a gift that's free. There's many gifts, y'all. Romans 12. Corinthians 12, they talk about the free gifts. There's gifts. There's many gifts. There's many gifts, y'all. There's many. Oh, and you know something? The Holy Spirit gives them out. <laughs> he said, I want you to have this. You know something? If I gave Aretha a gift, and I said, here, you can, I want you to, I want you to have this dress, but you can only wear this dress when you're with me. <laughs> How would that sound? Right, it's a free gift, right? So why would God give you a gift? Oh, my God. And then say, I want you, I'm going to give you the gift of healing. Oh, my God. But you can only heal people on Tuesday. I'm talking to somebody. I've given you the gift of prophecy, but you can only prophesy on Wednesday. I gave you the gift of healing, but you can only get you can only I mean the gift of giving, but only give on Sunday. It don't work like that. He said, freely I give. Freely you receive. Freely you receive, freely give freely. Stop limiting what God is doing in your life. Stop putting a limit on your gift. Well, Lord didn't give me no word. Why isn't your, why isn't your ministry, your gift taken off? Because you're not using it. Not because God didn't leave you. Your gift is something that's developed. Oh my God. He gives it to you at a certain stage. And then you begin to develop it. Oh my God. So you know what I got out of this? You want to see people healed? You got to start praying for more people. <laughs> I can't wait for the Lord to say, well, shucks, we didn't call for nobody to get prayed for Sunday, so dog, I missed my chance. But I walked by somebody in Walmart who was doing this. I want to prophesy to somebody, but Pastor didn't call for people to get prophesied to. So, dog, I didn't get a chance to prophesy. But then your, your co worker needed a word from God. Maybe that was your opportunity. Y'all, if you miss the mark, that's okay. I'm developing my gift. Oh my God. I want to give more. So what do I do? When I have an opportunity to give, I give. I want to be, I'm a teacher. Oh God. Teach! That's right. Well, dang, it's not Tuesday. Pastor didn't call me. It's not my turn yet. Well, you keep waiting for Pastor to call you to take your turn. You ain't going to never get it. <laughs> Y'all, there's a liberty that's attached to your gift. Your gift is outside of the law. Oh, my God, y'all. And there's a, there's a restriction that religion wants to put on what God is doing in your yes. life. Y'all listen. If you heal more people than me, praise God. If you got a better word of knowledge than I got, praise God. Come on, y'all. The Bible says that we're a body. Oh, God. Fitly joined together. And we, we supply each other. I want you to 
be better at prophesying because someday I might need a word that you have. Yes. Oh my God, y'all. We're working with each other. I want you to get good because when you get good, I benefit. Oh my God. When I get good, you benefit. But you don't get good by keeping your mouth shut. Right, but you gotta get in the game. Listen, get in the game. You got I told one guy, listen, I can't play like I used to, but I'll foul somebody for you if I can. <laughs> I'm in the game. I'm in the game to foul somebody. But I'm active in the game. I'm doing something in the game. I God wants you to be active with the gift that he gave you. Oh my Access what God is giving you and then put that thing to, oh God, put it to work. God has given us all something, y'all, and he wants you to put it to work. It's a free gift that he gave you. It's, it's a gift that he, he can't take, oh my God. He would like to take it back, but he can't. <laughs> and I don't know if he would like to, that's my words, that ain't his words. Let me correct that. But you would like for him to take it back. Oh my God, y'all. Right, come on. I've been upset sometimes because I've seen some people who ain't living right but still moving in the gift. You mean this guy out here fornicating and everything yeah. else, and this God still healing a multitude of people through him? Right. God, that ain't right. right. That ain't your problem. That's my gift. Yeah. Oh my God. Thank you, Lord. That's how God is, y'all. Why? He don't see me in my mess. He sees me as he... Oh, God. Thank you, Lord. Y'all know your kids can do the worst, but y'all better not say nothing about them. <laughs> God loves us, y'all. He's given us gifts. Lord, what's my gift? Ask the Holy Spirit. Oh, God. He'll search the deep things of God and let you know this is what you're supposed to do. Oh, my God. Ask. The Bible says if you need wisdom, ask God. And he'll give it to you liberally. It's a gift. All I have to do is ask. Children, have no problems asking for anything. That's that childlike faith we have. We want to qualify what we ask for. When I ask, you know something? When I ask, when a child, a child asks you for something, they don't expect to pay for it. Juju said, listen, after we go to church today, can you take me to McDonald's? I want a Happy Meal. <laughs> he didn't say, I got some money and I'll buy it. He said, people, after church, I want to go to McDonald's. I want a Happy Meal. I want some chicken nuggets, <laughs> something else, and I want a toy. <laughs> what am I saying? He was specific. Oh, my God. He was specific what he asked for, and he didn't have no fear about asking. Oh, God. The Bible says to desire spiritual gifts. Do you want to prophesy? Lord, I want to prophesy. I want to, y'all, that's part of my, Lord, that you would give me words of wisdom, words of knowledge, words of edification, words of comfort, words of exhortation. That's part of my prayer. God, I want to lay hands on the sick. I want to see canceled, cancer, canceled, diseases destroyed. Because you don't receive the gift right then and there don't mean that the gift ain't on its way. Come on, y'all. I'm saying that these are gifts. So don't be afraid to ask for them. Don't be afraid to believe for them. Matter of fact, expect them. Oh yes! 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 Jesus. Expect them. Yes! Expect them. Now don't get mad when I start prophesying.
sighing, and you don't, what's the only difference? I asked for it and you didn't. Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't get mad if they start getting healed. The only difference is I asked for it and you didn't. If you want to give more money, ask God. I want to give some more money. Come on. It's free. It's free. Come on, somebody say it's a free gift. All the gifts are free. All you have to do is ask for them. All you have to do is desire them. A evidence of, listen, don't ask for a gift, say you desire it and look. So this is what I do. I read books on prophecy. Yes. Oh, oh yes. God. I read books on healing. Yes. I listen to people who prophesy, yes. the people who minister healing. I listen to people who make money and want to get, you understand what I'm saying to you? You got to feed them. Oh, my God. That's evidence that I'm serious about what I'm asking for. Because I'm listening, I'm, I'm, I'm seeking that thing. And how many of y'all are seeking something? Yes. All that God has, the Bible says that God gives all that's good comes from God. If you get a gift that's bad, it's not from God. Oh, God. So stop trying to tie your mess to what? God, our only good and perfect stuff comes from God. If it's evil, downright despicable, and don't say, well, God is just trying to... Now, I don't believe that, y'all. So I, if I'm wrong, forgive me for it. But I don't, believe, I don't believe God gives us bad stuff. Now, stuff happens to us because maybe we got some stuff in our life. <laughs> Yo, we only tell part of the story. <laughs> See, something bad that happened to you. You come in here, whoa, oh, the Lord is testing. You ain't tell nobody all that other mess you just did. <laughs> tell, if you're going to testify, testify. <laughs> tell the whole story. Just don't take too long. <laughs> God wants us to know that God has given us the mind of Christ. So the nature of your gift, oh God, y'all. So what's powerful is that God was a giver, or I'm going to use the word gifter. God always gave gifts. Jesus came and if Jesus did what he saw his father do, right? So if God was one who gives him many gifts, so Jesus was a gift giver or a gifter. The Holy Spirit came as a gift, and then he gave gifts. So then who showed up? I'm here. Now what do you think I'm supposed to model? A gifter. Y'all, what I'm saying to you is what God has given you, release it to somebody else. One thing I noticed about rich people, how can you give somebody like Tens of millions of dollars. And it not, you don't even blink an eye. Why would that be? Because these people don't look at what they've given away. Oh, God. Your gift isn't necessarily, what you give away is not the thing that you focus on. You focus on the results that your given brings. And you know something? The Bible said that God gives seed to the sower. God gives gifts to the gifter. Oh my God. Yeah. <coughs> the more you give, the more he'll give to you. Yeah. Just keep on gifting. Because yeah. <laughs> it's really true. Jesus. You can't be God's gifted <laughs> no matter how you try. <laughs> but you know something? Some of y'all ain't trying. You want to know why nothing's coming in? Because ain't nothing going out. The order is give. Gift. That's the same, it's the same word, gift 
and give, they're the same words. Give and it shall be given unto you. Gift and it shall be gifted unto you. The Bible says your gift will make room for you. Oh my God. Your gift expands your limits. Your gifting expands your borders. But it's a gift that you give. Oh God. And you wonder why people wind up in certain places is because they've given their gift. It's not them, it's the gift. Oh my God. It's the gift that makes room for you. It's the gift. Oh God. And it brings it before great men. It puts you in places that you couldn't have got on your own. Oh my God. And you know something? That gift is a free gift that God gives you. He gifted you so you can gift other people. Yeah, amen. Yeah, that's true. Thank you, Lord. And I got a scripture for that. First Peter 4 and 10. As every man hath received the gift, even so minister the same one to another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. Listen, you're a good steward when you gift somebody with the gift that God has gifted you with. It's incredible because if you really have the gift, if it ain't something that you manufactured, built inside your gift is its desire to give itself away. Listen, if you got the gift of preaching, you gotta preach. You don't care where you at. Inside the gift is just desire to give itself away. If you got the gift of healing, it don't matter who it is. I just got to heal somebody. Inside the gift, built in that gift is a desire to give. The inherent nature of your gift is the gift itself. I got to find somebody to prophesy to. Oh, God. I got to find somebody to preach to. I got to find somebody to share Christ with. And that's why Timothy said to stir up the gift that's in you. And I'm here today to tell you stir up the gift that's in you. 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 I know it's in you. You know, you know it's in you. Stir it up. Stir it up. Hallelujah. Listen, I don't care what you say. <laughs> Stir up the gift that's in you. Stir up the gift. You got something in you. You know you got it. And that's why it's good to come to church, y'all. Because that, that, that stir up means like a bellows. It blows air. And I'm here to breathe on your gift today. I'm here to fan your flame. I'm here to stir up your gift today. My time go on, go say. I'm here to stir up your gift. I'm blowing on your ashes. And telling you to burn again. Oh, burn again. Burn again. Burn again. Burn again.
and I'm telling you, we have neglected. I, I'm guilty. I've been guilty of neglect. Sometimes we get in a position of oh God. And it's not our purpose. Just life causes the things to get choked out in your life. I didn't mean to stop praying. I didn't mean to stop giving. I didn't do it on purpose. But it's been neglected. But I'm here to refocus you and reposition you and get you to remember, oh my God. I'm here to stir up the spirit of your mind today. And I'm here to stir up the gift that's in you. It's in you. It was free. God gave it to you free. You probably don't even deserve what he gave you. But he gave it to you anyway. Because he said, I know the plan that I have for you. To give you a future. To give you a hope. To give you an expected end. It's a gift that I gave just, oh my God. These gifts are personal. I'm here to tell you, receive the gift today. Seek after the gift. Stir up your gift. Stop neglecting your gift. And then lose your gift. Oh my God. Lose your gift. Lose your gift and let it go. Your gift is like a wild horse. Oh my God. It's in the game it wants to run. Oh my God. <laughs> Yo, and what he said about stir up the gift, and then he said, why? Because God hasn't given you the spirit of fear. Oh my God. And right now, I come against that spirit of fear. You are lying. Come on, y'all. We coming against fear today. I'm talking about Steve. I don't walk out the store many times saying, shoot, I... I should have prayed for that person I did. I should have, I should have, I should have. I bind that spirit of should have right now. I cast out could have in the name of Jesus. I come against should have, would have, and could have. Oh my God. That's an unholy trio. Should have, would have, could have. That ain't tongues. <laughs> come on, we need to come against should have, would have, and could have. Right now. God is doing some good things in us, y'all. He wants us to change the way we think. He's working on our mind because he's trying to reposition us and get us to a place where he's taking. Listen, the place he's taking us to is a prepared place. Oh, my God. Woo! You don't know that person's been waiting for you to get there.
God, the process now, I gotta take the wrapping off. Oh God. I gotta take your bed. Oh my God. It's a gift, but I gotta take the wrapping off. And he told him Lazarus, listen, y'all take his. A wrapper. There's something in there that I can use. Oh my God. I just gotta get the clothes off. Those clothes are an illustration of death. And God wants you alive. Yo, there's some good inside you. I know y'all see grave clothes, but inside the grave clothes, there's something that's alive. Oh my God. My God. It's a gift that God has given us, y'all. Everything God gives is a free gift. All you have to learn to do is just receive it. Receive your healing today. Receive your deliverance today. Receive the free gifts. This Bible is full of free gifts. All his promises, they're just gifts. Stop trying to figure it out. Just say, I'll take it. Oh, God. Yep, that's mine too. You guys, you go to those, those they get those conventions and they got all the swag on the tables. Y'all just go take the how many of y'all got about 10 water bottles? A hundred pins. Come on. You just take whatever's on that table. You don't need it. You just take it anyway. Because it's free. Oh my God. Why? Because it's free. But then God has given you a gift and you refuse to take it. It's free. And y'all have had the nuts of audacity to ask, y'all got any more back there? <laughs> I can hear somebody say, you got any more? But how many would ask God, do you have any more? He said, desire spiritual gifts. Actually, he said, come with the best gifts. Oh my God. That means go after it. That's the only time he is okay to covet. <laughs> oh, God. Covet the best gift. And then he said, I'll show you a more excellent way. In chapter 13. And he talked about love. And everything that we do, every gift that we operate in, every gift that, oh my God. It's love. It's the foundation. Love is the motive. I don't want to heal people because of me. It's the love of God that constrains me. Oh my God. It's the love of God that wants me to give a word to somebody who's discouraged and down and out. It's the love of God that makes me give when I don't have to give. It's the love of God that gives me a word to say when I don't know what to say. It's the faith that works by love. You just got to believe that when you get there, God's going to have something ready for you to say. God is moving by his spirit, yo. And there's a free gift available to all of us today. You want more of God? Start seeking him. Come on. He's there. Listen, he don't have a problem giving us all something. Inheriting us is the desire to. Give. I wish I could just give my kids anything they wanted. I really do. I'm not there yet. But it's, I, the grandkids will get first. <laughs> but y'all, how many of y'all have a desire just to give to people? That'll help activate what God. Listen. To break the, the power of fear, you just got to do it. You just got to do it. Just do it. Don't even worry about the results. Just do it. You know what? The results change. I'm telling you. As you start to do it, as you start to exercise it, 
things will change in your life. Don't be discouraged in the beginning. You may hit, you might miss. I'm not looking at the hit or the miss. I'm looking at the fact that I moved it by the Spirit. Yeah, the enemy wants to focus on you saying something, look, they still the same way. That ain't my problem. <laughs> you got to minister the Word of God by the Spirit of God. The Word is a free gift. Oh, God, y'all. Stop holding on to what you have. Freely you've received. And somebody's been holding on to some stuff. But God gave it to you freely. You're supposed to give it away freely. I don't want to be found of having something on me that I'm not supposed to have. Y'all, it's, it's a free gift. Receive the gifting today. Walk in your gift. Be confident of the gift. God's got something in you. You know, you know something? <laughs> the gift that is treasure. And I'm saying this. Value what God has given you. We neglect stuff because we don't value it. There's some stuff to you means a lot. If somebody would look at it, they would say, I got a picture on my wall the kids drew for me. To you, it might look like a crazy picture. To me, it's something that I value. It's a treasure. It's just an old drawing when they was about four or five years old. But I value that. And I'm saying, value what God has given you today. Value your salvation. Wrapped up in salvation, there's a lot of gifts, y'all. It's treasure. All you have to do is just go in here. And as you read the word of God, it's say, that's treasure. Oh, my God. That's treasure. That's treasure. The Bible says the kingdom of God is a man who found a pearl. Oh, my God. He buried, then he went and sold everything he had, and then he bought that land. I'm saying sell out to everything that you have. And receive the free gift that God has given you today. Amen. And if you're having trouble receiving it today, Amen. say, God, tell them, I'm having trouble here. Yes, but I need your help today. Yes. You know something? Help. You don't have to, oh God. The enemy will have you think you have to pay for everything. There is a cost, but it's, it's a, I don't know how it is, it's a free cost. Salvation is free. Deliverance is free. Whatever you need from God, you can get it. It's there for you. It's there for you. You desire something, just ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Not. Nah, it's free. It's a gift. You know, and your gift is waiting to be you. Oh my God. <laughs> Listen. When you get a revelation of what God is calling and what God has given you, there's going to be a manifestation of what God wants to do in your life. What God wants to manifest in your life is directly related to the gift that's in you. The Bible says, greater is he that's in you. It's God that works in you both to will and to do his good pleasure. It's that gift in you that works out of you to accomplish what God wants to do in this world today. Would you make up your mind today that I'm going to be a gifter? I'm not going to be a whore, oh God. I come against every hoarder right now. I bind that hoarding spirit. <laughs> Jesus. Come on. Give your free gift away. Develop the gift that saved you today. Let God be God. Let God show out in you today. God, rekindle the fire with you. Stir up the gift that's in you. Stir it up today. How do I stir it up? By prayer. By talk. Listen, change your language. Change your conversation. And as pastors have been preaching, renew your mind. 
I'm, the Bible says that to them that received him, to them that received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. Amen. Inside of that gift that you receive is the power to become who God called you to be. Your becoming is related to the gift that God has in you. Oh my God. When you receive what God is doing in you, it's going to empower you to become who God called you to be. It's connected to the gift that God, because we're all, we're not going to all look the same when we get to the end, but we're all going to be the same. Oh God. The arm don't look like the foot, but it's still a part of the body. We're all a part of the body. God loves us, y'all. That's why he gave us gifts. <laughs> it's, the Bible says Jesus ascended on high. He led, led captivity captive, and he gave gifts to men. I love y'all, but Christmas time, we, we exchange gifts. I'm looking for gifts at Christmas. <laughs> or one big gift. <laughs> We ought to have a spirit of expectation. Oh, God. I got to stop. But see, there's a season that God releases. Oh, my God. All right. there's a, this, this is the season to receive the gifts that God has given out. You got to be discerning. Oh, my God. Be discerning of this season, y'all. Be discerning of the season that you're in. There's going to be a gift. Oh, my God. I hear it. There's going to be a gift released to you in this season. There's something God's releasing for you in this season. Come on. You've got to receive it. There are seasonal gifts. I hear that. Come on. There's something he's releasing in this season. Come on, just receive it. Come on, I just want to pray real fast. Father, we thank you today. God, we honor you. Oh, my God. We give you glory. We give you praise. We give you, oh, my. You are the great I am. And, Father, we know that all that's good and perfect comes from you. And, God, we thank you that you will perfect that which concerns us. And Father, we're expecting a perfecting of the gift that's in us. Father, help us to receive it today. Holy Spirit, search out those things, yea, the deep things of God, that we might know those things that are freely given to us of God, oh God. And Father, help us to activate those gifts. Help us to stir up the gifts that are in us. Help us to stir them up, oh God. And Father, those areas of neglect, we, Father, we repent of the neglect. We repent, oh God, of God not having any care for the... We repent, oh God, of treating our gifts unfairly and unrighteously, oh God. And Father, we repent even of our lives today, oh God. Father, forgive us of every sin we've committed even now, oh God. We want your gifts, oh God, activated in us. We want your gifts flowing freely in us, oh God, and through us and with us, oh God. And Father, help us to remove every hindrance. Father, we know that you haven't given us the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound, oh God, and a sound mind. You've given us the spirit of love, power, and a sound mind. And we thank you for these gifts today, oh God. Father, you said if we would delight ourselves in you, that you would give us the desires of our heart. So Father, help us to delight ourselves in you today, oh God. Rekindle the joy, oh my God. The joy, oh God. The joy, the joy. Restore the joy of our salvation, oh God. Excite us again, oh God. Help us to get excited about what you're doing in us, oh God. And Father, help us to trust you even more, oh God. For we know that we walk by faith and not by sight. 
And Father, we expect a great manifestation. We put a demand on our gifts, oh God. Even now, we put a demand on our gifts. My God, I, oh God, we demand our tongue to prophesy. We demand our healings to happen. We put a demand on our gifts of giving and administration and our gifts of help, oh God. My God. Father, we want to be expanded in these areas. We come against everything that's limited in us. We come against every limit that's been imposed by us, oh God. Father, break the limits off today. My God. Father, open the eyes of our understanding, even now, God, that we would understand the gifts that you've given us. We thank you for the gifts, oh God. We thank you for these gifts, oh God. Father, we thank you for the gifts. We give you praise for the gifts. Today. We honor you for the gifts. We're grateful for the gifts that you've given us. My God, thank you for the gifts. Of, thank you for the gifts. Thank you for the gifts, God. We honor you for them today. Father, we appreciate them. And we give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise for them. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Thank God. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's give God some praise today. Hallelujah. Thank God. Hallelujah. Come on, activate it. Hallelujah. Activate it. Come back with some testimony. Now unto him who's able to do exceedingly, abundantly above what we can ask and think about, according to the power, oh my, to that gift, oh God. You know what? That power is a gift. Oh God. Praise God. I'm excited today. I'm encouraged today. Anybody encouraged? Come on, y'all. I just, I want to do more. I want to be better. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, let's give God another prayer.